Hey there, welcome to Rose. In this video, we'll be looking at how you could use our AI analyst to further enrich your existing data by using some of our proprietary open AI functions. Let's dive right in. So in this case, I've got a data set with a bunch of companies that I've sourced using our company finder right here. And to trigger our AI analyst, I'm going to click on the AI analyst button like so. And let's start by asking its first question. What is the funding status? of the company and I hit enter give it a couple seconds and what this is doing in the back end is it's trying to create a column pick one of our open AI functions and try and assess what the funding status is so in this case it's using our find fact open AI function like here and you'd be able to see the output like so as well okay let's ask this something more I'm gonna go ahead and ask extract the funding amount in a new column and hit enter and once again we just have to give it a couple more seconds for it to do its thing and you'll see that there's a new column that's been created with funding amount here and this time it's using our extract open ai function like so next let's try converting this particular value into an actual numerical metric instead so i'm going to say convert funding amount to actual numeric value and hit enter give it a couple seconds and in a new column we should see funding amount numeric and the function it's using this time is apply task open ai with this particular prompt and as you can imagine well there is the data that we need and finally, I'm also going to try and classify based on the description, whether or not it's an AI company or not. So based on the description, classify if it's an AI company or a non AI company. And I'm going to hit enter, give it a couple more seconds for it to do its thing. And let's see what the output looks like. OK, there is column four. AI company classification and this time it's using our classify open AI function to do exactly just that which is the input is sitting in C2 that's the description and the tags is AI or non AI so there you have it these are some of the ways in which you could use our open AI functions using the AI analyst inside rows I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching